Welcome to our channel, Blender Tips. In this tutorial, you will learn that how we can create the procedural square tile material in Blender with the help of nodes. And here you can see that I add a different node to create this beautiful tile texture. And here I plug in all the required color and essential parameter into the group input node to control these node outside of this. And here by pressing tab, you can see the custom node group of the procedural square tile material. And here you can see the different colors and uh, other parameter to control this texture and uh, here you can see this is the color one of this tile and here you can see the changings and this is the second color of this tile and you can change this according to your requirement and this is the motor color and this is the tile scale and here you can increase the number of tiles and decrease according to your scene setup and uh, this is the motor size and this is the roughness and here you can increase and decrease the roughness of the tiles and this is the rotation angle and by changing this angle you can rotate the tile as you want and this is the last parameter which is the pump strength beautiful and if you want to purchase this material along with all of my other materials then you can visit my patreon page comrade store and also blender market links are in description so let's start first i open the blender and uh, set up the scene and here you can see that uh, i am in camera view and also in a render view and this is the 3d viewport and here i add an object uh, which is the icosphere and uh, by pressing tab uh, you can see this is the highly subdivided object and i also turn on the screencast keys because you can see which i press nice and this is the shader editor and here I rename this material procedural square tile material, which is I am going to create. So first I add the brick texture to create the some tile type shader. So for that by pressing shift A here I search for the brick texture and place the brick texture something like here. And by selecting brick texture, press control T. This will be at the texture coordinate and mapping. And here I use the object coordinate. Beautiful and uh, select this brick texture and by pressing control shift to preview and here you can see the bricks here i change some setting of this brick texture so for that here this is the first color which is the white i remain it same and this is the second color which i make it some more dark and uh, this is the motor color actually the motor is the place between these bricks and here i change this color uh, something like gray color dark gray color beautiful and uh, here the scale i remain this value the same and here i decrease the motor size and here i decrease this up to point double zero five and this is the very narrow motor size and here i increase the motor smoothness up to one and uh, here i change some brick width and height and uh, here I am going to create uh, the square tile material. So for that, uh, here I decrease this width up to the point to 50 to make it a square. Now I want to rotate these uh, tiles. So for that, here I add another node, which is the vector rotate. So for that, by search the uh, rotate vector rotate and place it something like here and this is the angle which we change to rotate the bricks and here I put the value up to the 45 degree beautiful now it's looking better nice and here I give some bump to these tiles so for that here I plug in this vector of the brick texture into the normal and here I search for the Bump node by pressing shift A here. I search for the bump and place the bump node something like here and also the normal into the height. And uh, here I decrease this pop strength up to the point 100. Beautiful. Nice. And here I plug in this into the disk and by pressing Ctrl Shift to preview in real time. And uh, here you can see that by increasing and decreasing the roughness, 
the material became too much shiny and rough so i want uh, some part of this tile these tiles are more rough than other so for that here i apply another texture by pressing uh, shift a here i search for the noise texture and place the noise texture just above the brick textures and here i use the same uh, mapping so for that into the vector of the noise texture and uh, here i preview this and change some setting of this noise texture and here i increase uh, the scale up to the 25 and also decrease the detail to the zero beautiful and here i search for the color ramp by pressing shift a here search for the color ramp and place the color ramp something like here and uh, also into the roughness and preview this and here you can see the some parts uh, are uh, behavior some different way so here i change uh, this value to the gray and here you can see the changes now it's look better beautiful and i want to control this roughness outside of the node groups so for that here i enter another node which is the i use saturation and place it something like here and uh, here by changing this value we can increase the roughness too much and decrease too much according to our requirement beautiful and uh, here is the final node setup of this procedural square tile material and by pressing f12 you can see in render view here is the final render of procedural square tile material thanks for watching